Hello, friends. I wanted to start by telling you a story about a small baby morning dove that was sitting out on our deck this week, all nestled under his mother's wing. A few minutes later, the dad came along and fed him his lunch, and then both parents left. But I think they were watching from a safe distance. Around supper time, the mom returned and kind of sat with the baby, and then in flew the daddy bird again and fed him his dinner. In the early evening, Kevin, which is what my daughter named him, flew away. The next day, we saw Kevin taking several short flights. I believe that God was using those morning doves to remind me of my role as a mother. I feed and nurture my children, and then gradually, I watch them fly. God has used other birds, animals, and fish to help humans learn lessons about life, too. Remember Daniel in the lion's den? And Jonah? <laughs> Good old Jonah in the belly of that big fish or whale. Let's review that story. In chapter 1, God directed Jonah to go to Nineveh. However, Jonah disobeyed, boarded a ship, and headed for Tarshish. The sailors of the ship became very concerned because of a great storm that brewed. And Jonah explained that God was bringing judgment upon him. The sailors threw Jonah into the sea where he was swallowed by an enormous fish. Jonah 1.17 says, And the Lord appointed a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was in the stomach of that fish for three days and three nights. In chapters 2 and 3, after God had the fish cough Jonah up three days later, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to fulfill his mission. Now, Jonah preached a message of repentance, and to his surprise, the sinful city repented. Then the people of Nineveh believed in God, and they called a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least of them. It's Jonah 3.5. And in chapter 4, God deals with Jonah and teaches him about his love and compassion. So God used that fish to give Jonah a second chance to do the right thing. He actually gave Jonah three days to think about his actions and to make better choices. Kind of sounds like a time out to me. But Jonah was sorry. And he told God he was sorry. So God forgave him. And he went on to help the people of Nineveh. Just like those birds reminded me of what it means to be a parent, that fish reminded Jonah that once God has a purpose for our lives, we can't just run away. And if we do, we need God to step in to force us to take the time to reconnect to him and to the plan that he has for our lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you love us so much that even when we run away, you are there. Thank you that you love us enough to have a purpose for our lives that you will see us complete. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you have a wonderful week.